Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. Welcome back to the community tab. Welcome back to this special members only section that uh, allows me to connect with you on a different level, right? Different level. Well, at least in a different environment. Back in my uh, magic closet again, upstairs at my house. Uh, this is where I've decided to record uh, just because it's just it's new, right? It's a different place, it's new. But thank you for being here. Thank you for your patronage. Thanks for believing in me. Thanks for believing in me. Thanks for believing in this channel, that it could be something different than what it's been, right? I just felt like it was ready for a change. And the fact that you are here means you believe that too. And you invested a little bit in that. So thank you for your patronage. Thanks for being faithful, right? Thanks for being faithful. Today, I got a fun one. So we're doing a fun one, not necessarily a review, not necessarily a review because that's another thing. Like I don't want to do reviews all the time. I want to talk to you about other stuff. So today we're going to talk about my E. DC, my everyday carry. Now, everyday carry is something that the magic community has kind of borrowed from the menswear uh, line. You know, EDC used to be something like, what would a man carry on his person when he walked out the door? Like, what's your wallet? You know, what's your, if you if you wear a bracelet or, or you know, what's your fancy watch? You carry a pocket knife, things like that, right? What's your EDC? And so that kind of got taken over into the magic world. And now we talk about that. You know, what are what are the things that you grab on your way out the door? Like if you're gonna go out and you're gonna maybe do some magic, like what are you putting on your person? Well, that's a great question, but I think it's it needs to be answered with with two with two things before I before I get into showing you what I grab. Um, one, my everyday carries are easy. Okay, they're easy. They're easy and simple. Like the things that I'm grabbing off the shelf, I'm not thinking in my head, this represents the best magic I can do. Like, I love these tricks so much, I wanna show everybody. That's not what I'm thinking when I grab an everyday carry. I'm thinking about, I'm gonna be out there in the real world, and chances are I'll bump into somebody that maybe doesn't know me, but, uh, or maybe some my wife will say, hey, do a magic trick for them, because that's how it usually happens. <laughs> you know, she says, hey, show them a magic trick, show them a All right, here you go. So the things I grab, are gonna be things that I don't need to practice. It's things that I can just do like that and just switch on. And I don't have to think about, oh, I've gotta get into, I gotta get ready, right? Let me turn around, let me, let me turn around, I'll turn back. None of that. Everything that I carry as an everyday carry is simple. It comes out of my pocket, ready to go in its state. There's nothing I have to do, okay? There's no setup for anything that I carry with me. And, it's mostly self-working effects, like almost 100% self-working. Because again, I don't wanna to have to remember the routine or, or maybe like switch it up to the environment that I'm in. Like I wanna be able to just have something, an organic patter that works with whoever I'm talking to, right? Easy to go, easy to remember, and it's gonna work right out of the box with, with no problem, right? It's gonna work, it's gonna hit. The other caveat for an everyday carry for me is it has to be small. Right, it has to be small, and a lot of these things don't have any crossover. Like if I'm doing something with a key, I don't have another key everyday carry. This is my key everyday carry, right? I don't have, I have a necklace every, everyday carry, but then I don't have another one. Like they, they're all completely independent. So that as I'm talking to the person, I can think, what do I wanna do? I wanna do a card trick, I'll do the ring trick, and I'll do like a little thing with my business card, right? I'm going dot, dot, dot. I'm thinking in my head, what three things can I group together? And the tricks themselves in my head, I already know. Like my business card tricks, those are the tricks I do at the very beginning. Those are just my warm up tricks. And I, whenever somebody says, hey, just do a trick, I never just do a trick. I always do two or three. Because if you just do one, <laughs> they're always gonna say, can I see that? Can I, you know, or hey, or they'll say, how did you do that? Or they'll, or they'll say, do something else, right? So you might as well just do two. Just do two or just do three, and then you kind of eliminate the grabbers and you eliminate the people that say, oh, how did you do that? Or, you know, if you do three, then they kind of feel like they saw a little show and they kind of relax and they don't ask to see your props and they don't necessarily ask, how did you do that? They, I think then they're a little bit more receptive to just say, wow, thank you, or that was nice, or that was great, or you're great, or whatever. One more thing about my everyday carries. Um, number one, they, they change all the time. 
right? They change all the time. I'm, I'm going to either my dresser top or I'm coming in here and grabbing some things off the shelves. So my EDC has changed on a month to month basis. Some of these have been my everyday carries for years. Some of these I just got recently. And so I'm excited about them and I wanna take them on the take them out and, and show them to people. So they're, they're always changing, okay? They're always changing. And then in this video, I'm not showing them to you in any particular order. Like I wrote, I wrote some down, I'm looking at my notes, but I, I'm not gonna show them to you in the top 10 fashion. In fact, there's not even 10, there's way more than 10, right? And so there's, there's way more than I could actually carry on my person. So these tricks represent the tricks that I take with me out the door, but not all at once obviously, <laughs> right? Not all at once. I'm probably grabbing four or five of these effects because I can carry them in various places on my person. And then, like I said, when I'm actually in front of somebody, I probably only do three. But in this list, there's probably like 15 things, but they're not all an everyday carry. I'm not carrying them every day. Does that make sense? The first thing I gotta show you is the Viper Wallet. And if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I love the Viper Wallet. And if I'm gonna carry some cards with me, I might as well grab the Viper wallet because it's an easy peek, right? I don't even need to build a routine around this. Whatever I'm doing with the spectator, whatever we're talking about, I can just hand them a billet or hand them my business card and say, hey, write down your favorite. Hey, we're, you know, we're in the ketchup aisle. Write down your favorite ketchup or, you know, whatever. Like it doesn't really matter because the Viper wallet will immediately turn any uh, thought idea into a thought reveal. So. The other thing is it doubles as a way for me to carry a packet trick or it doubles as a way for me to carry my business cards. So it becomes two things in one. So I'm almost always carrying some sort of wallet. If I'm not carrying one like this, then I'm carrying one like this, right? I'm carrying one of these little card wallets that you get at Penguin Magic for 99 cents. Okay, these are little wallets. Like I said, you get them at Penguin Magic. They're 99 cents. I think they're still 99 cents. And you can put two things in here. And like right now, uh, Mad Card Disease, that's labeled, but Mad Card Disease is not one of the, well, sometimes it is, but not, not, not recently. Uh, and I can put one thing on one side and one thing on the other side. So I can put, you know, like a card trick, a little packet trick over here. And then on this side, I've got my Luber lens. And the Luber lens is one of the things I always carry. So this is a Luber lens. Uh, you can get these sold individually, but you can also get it sold with the book or you can get it sold with a trick. Um, I still keep mine on my little protective sleeve so that it doesn't get, ever get scratched. But I usually do the Luber lens along with Spiraled by Jimmy Strange. Uh, Spiraled is a Sharpie marker that's twisted already and it works great with the Luber lens. Sometimes I go out the door with just this and I don't ever call attention to it. And I don't use it in another trick. If I'm going out the door and I know I'm doing something else, then I'll take a real Sharpie marker with me, have them write down, you know, something on in a previous trick. And then I'll go to the, I'll go to spiraled afterwards and I bring it out like that and say, you know, hey, we'll just use the Sharpie marker that we used earlier. Don't call any attention to it, put it on their hands and twist it up. So for those moments, I'm carrying two Sharpies, but that's more rare. It's more rare that I carry two. I usually just grab a uh, spiraled and a Luber lens and I'm out the door. All right, now I've got two from Jeff Price and I've been wanting to do reviews for these. I'm actually gonna do reviews for these tricks here in the members only section because Jeff doesn't sell these on his website. So I usually don't like to do reviews for things that people can't buy, right? So I got these at Magi Fest and I love them both. And ever since I got them at Magi Fest, they are literally my everyday carry. I, I always have these in my pocket. Um, this is Monkey from Jeff Price. It's a metal through metal effect. It's a linking ring effect. You move the little ring uh, from this side to the other side and it's a penetration effect. It's great. Uh, I don't know how you would get this if you want it. Um, I've heard that you can direct message Jeff Price through Instagram and he can sell it to you that way. The only other way I know it is to find him at a convention or just keep watching his channel uh, for when he uh, throws this up for sale. I will say that Monkey is a hundred bucks. Like this is what you get for a hundred dollars. But I bought it with my own money because I was like, that trick is awesome. And it was worth a hundred bucks to me. Uh, the other Jeff Price trick that I'm always wearing, and I'm wearing it on the outside of my shirt, is this. This is Penrose Pendant. 
and it's a little uh, necklacey trick. And this was 40 bucks. And again, I got it from him at Magi Fest. But I bought it because of how you can carry this. Like you literally carry it around your neck. So it doesn't take up any pocket space. And it's a really fun opener. If I don't do an opener with a business card, then I do an opener with Penrose Pendant. And so that leads us to Wow Money from Illusionist. I just got this and I did a review for it, but um, I started carrying it because I actually had a couple of other things that worked well with it. I don't like to just carry one thing all the time unless I can kind of justify it with something else. So this actually becomes two other things for me and I'll get into that. So I have a, uh, I have the Wow Money gimmick, right? And then within the Wow Money gimmick, I have a fake $100 bill from Diamond Jim Tyler. So I still had those lying around. So it was nice to be able to change a one into a hundred. And the way I pitch this is, is this is my husband wallet. I say, hey, to a guy, I'm like, hey, you, get, you gotta get one of these husband wallets. I'm like, what are you talking about husband wallet? I'm like, yeah, it's a husband wallet. So on the, on the back, you know, I have one of my business cards in case I make a connection with someone. I have my credit card. And then on the other side, I have a $1 bill, right? Because my wife's gonna come up to me and she's gonna ask, hey, do you have any money? I can pull this out and say, oh, I only have a one, right? And then when she walks away, I do my change and I say, but I really have a hundred. And then I'm able to, able to pull these things out, right? And show them that there's a hundred dollar bill in here. But see, now that I pull these two things out, they don't know what these other two things are. So I usually have a prediction on the backside of this. So that, leads into that, which is great. And then this is the fake credit card that comes with the How to Read Minds kit from Peter Turner. And I saw uh, this displayed in the Wow Money presentation. And I was like, oh, what a great idea, because now this becomes a trick. I can do several different number tricks with this. So I always carry this uh, as my everyday carry as well. Okay, I keep mentioning business card tricks, so I want to kind of reference those real quick. So I have this one that says mind on the front, M-I-N-D, okay? And this is a trick from Banachek. And I believe it's called this or that. It might be called this or that. Uh, it was on one of the Banachek videos and it's really you know, easy. You just show all the cards, M-I-N-D, and you have the mentally select one. And then you show at the end that that was the one different card. That was the one you predicted that they would pick. Then there's a little trick called coat, and this was from Cameron Francis. And again, it uses my business cards and then these little drawings that I made. And it's the same style of trick. You show all the symbols and then they pick one and then you're able to reveal that that was the one you made, mentally wanted them to take. And then the last of my business cards trick, uh, this is called the future from John Bannon, or at least I hope it's called the future. But it's a John Bannon trick. It's a throwaway trick that's on one of his card tricks uh, DVDs, but I loved it so much. Uh, inside this, there's a coin. And it's a little routine. It's a little equivocate routine where uh, you, you're narrowing choices all the way down until the spectator selects a coin and whether it's heads up or you know tails down, heads up or tails up, yeah. <laughs> and then you open the bulldog clip and reveal the coin and it's exactly what they picked. And you probably already knew this was coming, but I always carry Will to Read. Will to Read is a book test from Steve Della. I talk about it all the time in my videos. And I used to carry it like this, just as a piece of paper, because that's really all you need for Will to read. And then you can borrow a pen and a coin. Okay, you borrow a pen and a coin. But ever since the How to Read Mind Kits came out from Peter Turner, uh, he has this little switch wallet. And the switch wallet comes with a pen attached to it, which is perfect, because I need a pen, right? And then I have uh, kind of like this aztec -y coin that I use in connection with this. So this together becomes Will to Read because inside the Switch Wallet, I have um, the Will to Read trick, the gimmick, and I have my business card. And you need a card also, okay? And then when I open it, they don't see anything. They just see uh, the, the gimmick, they just see the trick, right? And my business card and a piece of paper. But I use this because of the Switch Wallet, I use this for my crib. So there's a special gimmicky way that you can open this that'll open another compartment. And then I'm using the pen to write down my prediction or you know something as a, as a little offbeat. And while I'm doing my little mentalism back and forth with them, I'm just staring at my crib and they don't even know. 
So this greatly improved Will to Read for me and I carry both of these. Then I have two from Vinny Sagu. Okay, two from Vinny Zagu. This and both of them I love because of how small they are and how big they play. Uh, this one's called Word Up. It's a little crossword puzzle word search. Yeah, trick. Uh, it involves two cards, but I'm only going to show you one because the other one's gimmicked. And uh, again, it's a little mental of something. You show it to them, and they select any word they want within this uh, little word search, and then you reveal it in a magical way. And then the second trick I carry from Vinny Sagu is Colorful Kings. Now let me give you a little history on Colorful Kings. Um, I used to carry Bwave, right? I used to carry Bwave from Max Maven. And my, my Bwave set was unique in that I had uh, Kings in one front pants pocket and Queens in the other. So then at the very beginning, I can do a broad choice. And I say, you, you can either pick Jack, Queen, or King. So it makes it look like I give them the full range of options. And then they narrow it down, and then I say red or black, and then from my pocket, I'm literally able to pull the card that they're thinking of. After that, I started carrying that trick. I don't even know the name of it. It was out on YouTube, and every other card was red or blue in the spread, and you fanned it towards the spectator, and they didn't know. And then they select one card, and then you're able to show that it's the only one with a different colored back. I carried that one for a while. So there was in Bwave, which was kind of a color choice, then that trick, which was kind of a color choice, but then Color Kings came out from Vinny Sagu, and as a color choice prediction effect, I liked this one the best, because you literally come out with these cards, and you say, these are the kings, and you give them a choice. Do you want red or black? Do you want, which one do you want to see? And I, I make that clear. What, which one do you want to see? And they say, I want to see red. I'm like, oh, okay, red. So I fan it, and I say, there's the red cards, okay? And then you give them another completely free choice. You say, of the two reds, which one do you want? And they say, oh, I, you know, I want uh, this one right here. You say, oh, you want the diamonds. Okay, well, you picked the green card. And right here in my pocket, I have a prediction that you would pick the green card. And they say, oh, okay, but uh, what about the, the heart over there? What about that one? I say, oh, well, that one's yellow. <laughs> And they say, well, what about the other two cards? I say, oh, those cards uh, were different colors. See, it goes like that. So, and there's nothing for them to find. Uh, and it's a great little walk around prediction, fun beat color trick thing. And we couldn't possibly talk about everyday carry without talking about Sven Pad, right? Sven Pad from Brett Berry. I'm always walking out the door with one of these. Um, they're all set up, ready to go with either a movie star or a country or uh, uh, yeah, there's a, I have an option for each one. I think, well, one's movies, right? One's movies. So again, really easy to carry. Walk out the door with one of these and mentalism, bam, trick. Awesome, fun. Another fun pack of trick that I'm walking out the door with uh, that's only two cards, and that's the reason why I love it. It's two cards and it's a torn and restored, kind of, not really. It's a torn, it's a torn trick. It doesn't restore. It's a torn trick, but uh, this is awesome. And it's Justin Flom and Rick Lax. Justin Flom, Rick Lax combined together to do Tornado. You can get a whole deck of them like this. And then of the whole deck, you're only going to use two cards. You use two cards, you tear them up, they get to keep everything. And then you just go back to your deck and draw another two cards and you can do it again. So this one doesn't really count as a business card trick um, because it's actually uh, rewards cards. So this is a rewards card set of coffee cards and it's called Cool Beans and it's from Paul Brook. Um, and again, I like it because I can keep all my cards together. I have my business card on the front, a fake one, and put a rubber band around it and it can go in any pocket. And Cool Beans actually comes with, I think like three or four different mentalism routines that you can do. So literally as an everyday carry, I can walk out the door with just this and it's three or four routines right there. All right, let me go to my list and see if I got everything. Viper, Penrose Pendant, Monkey, Wow Money, Word to Go, Color King, Spin Pad, Twisted Sharpie, Word Up, Tornado, That Card Coat, Cool Beans in the Future. Yeah, that's everything. All right, so that's my list. That's my everyday carry stuff. And obviously things come and go, right? That list constantly changes. I mean, especially even, even right now, right? If I walk out the door with a jacket or a coat, then I'm grabbing one of my Venoms. And how I'll do it is I'll do a little levitation when I know people are watching, but I pretend like I didn't know they were watching. Like, oh, you saw me do that? Oh, that's cool. And then they'll say, ah, how'd you do that? And I say, oh, well, you wanna see something? And then I'll show them something else. I won't show them a levitation because kind of, they already already saw it. 
and then I don't want to draw heat to, you know, the ITR. And then um, really love Sentimental, love it. I did a review for this. Can't say how much I love this because it's a card trick. It looks like a deck of cards, but it enables me to do a card trick, but it's not a card trick, which makes it so freaking awesome. Plus, I will say at the end of this, my everyday carry is gonna be a deck of cards, right? My everyday carry is gonna be a deck of cards. With a deck of cards, you can do thousands of tricks. Thousands of tricks you can do with a deck of cards. I get the penguin marked deck, right? I'm walking out the door with the penguin marked deck. They're uh, maiden backs and they're fully marked. The marks are very obvious. And I like that because I wear glasses. And if you perform in a restaurant or someplace dark, you want to see those very obvious marks. But obviously during your performance, you don't let on that it's marked and no one will ever catch you. Trust me, no one ever catches you. But yeah, mark deck. I'm always walking out the door with one of these. Okay, so that's really the end. That's really the end of my everyday carry. That's all of my stuff. What do you carry? What do you walk out the door with? Uh, and in this video, if you saw something, you're like, oh, I want to learn more about that. Uh, tell me, tell me what you'd like to learn more about. I'll give you a comment below and, and answer your questions. Hopefully again, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your patronage. Thanks for your loyalty. Thanks for your faithfulness. It's so appreciated that you believe in me and believe in this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.